All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. So, I hate when people sugarcoat stuff. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, right? And I figure it's time for me to do these, this type of a video, like a relationship video. I'm not no relationship expert, but I've been around long enough and been enough, really, been in enough extensive relationships, especially to know what uh, is required, etc., etc. Here's my take on things, right? So, this is a spin-off of a video that my wife recently put up on her channel where she talked about a body, a woman's body after having a baby and how the man might feel like he's not attracted. And she actually has a real-life story where she spoke about how this man is not. I believe uh, one of her subscribers wrote her about some man that or she got it from somewhere uh, some man that is not no longer attracted to the woman that gave him his children because her body has changed right and i'm gonna be brutally honest in this video so pack your feelings at the door and come on in with an open mind all right ready here we go all right so let's start out by saying this this video is not for people who want to be with someone for a short period of time, a fling, or you want to be with someone for even a lengthy period of time. Because some people will be with you for a year or two years and then pack up and move on. And that's when, that's what they're used to. So when you ask them, so what's the longest relationship you've ever been in? They'll tell you like two years. And you're like, man, that's a long relationship. You know what I'm saying? But not really. This video is for people who want to be in a lifetime commitment of a relationship, all right? So if you don't want to be in a lifetime commitment of a relationship, then you might as well don't even waste your time watching this video. If somewhere in the back of your mind you think, yeah, at some point, even if I'm not now, I would like to be in a lifetime committed relationship, then this video is for you. Check it out. At some point, right? you are no longer attracted to each other. And I don't care what people want to say. A lot of people talk about me and my man have been together for 10 years now and the fire is still there and every time him see me, him just want to jump on me and all that. That is very far and few in between. And even those people are not telling you the truth. So I'm gonna give you the raw, honest truth, okay? We're human beings. And human beings get tired of the same thing over and over and over, all right? No matter how good it is. Hence the reason why a lot of people cheat. Because the thing that they're used to starts to get so, ah, uh, that they're like wandering minds. Well, I know there's better out there. And if you don't have a partner that's caring enough to actually say, uh, Babe, we need to steam up the something enough. We need to renew it. And there are ways that you can renew it without being offensive to your partner. And you All right, I don't know if you know about Father and Sons TV. So here's a Jamaican brother like myself who is also a father and very much involved in his son's life. Right? And I say sons because you see him right here with his two boys. So, Father and Sons TV. Now, what they do is they walk around all over the UK. They're asking people trick questions. And it's funny in a lot of the videos. I just think that the videos need to get a whole lot more views. And I don't know if you're like me, SoFlow TV, who travel vicariously through other people's channels. So, even if I've never been to the UK before, but I have, right? Even if I've never been there before, I could watch a Father and Sons TV and get a good feel from other people on Father and Sons TV, how the people in the UK speak, how they get down, their sense of humor, so on and so forth. It's a good look. It's a good channel. Good, clean, family fun. Father and Sons TV. Something you can play in front of your granny and you don't have to shush and turn the volume down because it's full of nastiness and curse words. Father and Sons TV. Go subscribe to Father and Sons TV 
on YouTube and tell him that SoFlow TV sent you. Yeah, man, we'll link up and we'll support each other, don't it? He's in the UK, I'm in the US, still my brother though, and still a good father to his children. I could big that up all the time. Lead by example, my brother. Father and Sons TV. Go subscribe to Father and Sons TV right now. Or you don't have to disrespect your partner and say stuff like, well, you know, look the way how me like woman for look. You didn't look like that when I met you. That's damaging. That's actually so... Da that is long-term damaging. You know what I'm saying? Now, you're going to tell a woman that you don't like the way how she look when she used to look certain way when you first met her. Remember when I first met you, your body did slim and nice and... I know you just get big on me. I like it. I, I'm not attracted to it. You can't tell a woman that because one point or another, you're going to want her to come around and have sex with you, make love to you, etc., etc., make love with you, and she's not going to be in for it because the only thing that's going to be at the forefront of her mind is that time when you said you're no longer attracted to her because she don't look like what she used to look like when she first met you. Especially a woman that has had a child for you or multiple children for you. So you have to find a way to spark that fire all the time. And you have or keep it sparking and you have to find a way to make sure that you're with someone that is in it for the long run everything changes over time you know what I'm saying everything changes over time when relationship just start you can't get enough of each other you're going at it constantly you want each other all the time this is the person you want to be with and you can do it all by yourself do it in the kitchen cut multiple times per night all these other things. If you're in this for years, I guarantee you a couple of years down the road, you're going to start to meet uh, the dynamics of the relationship changes, especially where children get involved. Now you have a baby. Now the baby sleeps in the bed in between you guys. Now her sleep cycle is disrupted. Your sleep cycle is disrupted. People have to get up and go to work. Plus stay up all night raising a crying baby who get up every hour or two for a bottle. And you can't let her do it alone, so you're doing it too. So you're drained, she's drained. You're not fi you're not finding any romance or sexy anything in there. You're you're a one time marathon sex multiple times a night here, there, everywhere in the house. Me could try it over yourself on the counter. Oh, be come here, bend over yourself. We never do it yourself yet. All right, me could do something yourself. That 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 will go out the window. Then you have to get creative, right? And what happens in these instances is people that are weak, and yes, I say weak because they're not committed to their union. What, what will happen is they'll be like, man, I'm not getting any at home, so I'm going to go look for some outside. And it could be both ways. It could be the woman being like, I don't think he's attracted to me anymore because he hasn't touched me in a while. Um, so, and this man over here, so I give me sex energy. So I'm going to take a one piece over there. So you know how women stay, some of them anyways, right? A lot of them anyways. And before you know it, some kind of cheating going on in the relationship. And not just, it doesn't have to be sexual cheating. It could even be emotional cheating, which can be just as damaging as sexual cheating. So, you know, some she's going to somebody for some reassurance. Some man I tell her, says she look good, she beautiful, she sexy. And you over there telling her, I'm not attracted to you like that no more. You, you know, look like how you used to look. There are solutions to that. You can do stuff like work out with your partner. You know what I'm saying? Just a simple walk. Put the baby in a prom, in a stroller, or a walk. Just walk around the block. Go to the beach, jog, something. Take long walks on the beach, carrying the baby. Take turns carrying the baby, that kind of stuff. If the baby is big enough, just like many things. Take the whole family to the park and do stationary exercises, calisthenics, all kind of stuff you can do together, right? For spice up your thing. Help her to get in shape. Change the way you eat together. That kind of stuff. Here's one that's big and it's important for the people who have been together for mad years and are looking at being together for the rest of your years. Now that's a serious commitment for the rest of your years. That's a serious commitment. And for the people who are looking to do that, it's sometimes healthy to fast. I start the video out by saying we're humans and we get... In Jamaica, we have a word where we say Clyde. Me Clydeite. Me tiredite. Right? Tiredite, Clyde of it, just desensitized to it, 
my taste buds no longer feel for that. No pun intended, taste buds no longer feel for. But you know what I'm saying? If, I, if you say to me, jerk chicken is your favorite food, and I feed you jerk chicken seven days a week, you might like it for the first seven days. But on day eight, you're going to be like, ah, oh, I'm tired of jerk chicken. I'm going to have something else now. If you say that oxtail is your favorite food and I feed you oxtail 30 days straight, the next 31st day, you're going to be like, ah, oh, damn, oxtail again? I don't want none. I'm going to just drink some water here, man. It's the same thing for sex. It's the, You know they have a saying that absence makes the heart grow fonder? It's the same thing. So fasting is a good thing. And when we talk about fasting, we're not talking about fasting as in just fasting, say, with food. Sometimes it's good to stop eating. Sometimes it's good to change up what you eat, especially for those of us who consume meat eat a lot of meat. Me, I like a lot of meat. I like fish, I like chicken, I like beef. I don't too much lean to the beef thing, but fish and chicken, I like it and I like it a lot, right? But there are times when we take breaks, like a whole 30-day break. No meat. I think we need to do the same thing when it comes to sex, intimacy, lovemaking, let there be a 30-day break in your relationship where you just do stuff like cuddle on the couch and watch a movie together. You can feel up each other if you want to. You can kiss, right? You can renew that intimacy before... the. the you, what you will find out is about day five, six, seven, if you get to go that far, is you really start to look at your partner different like, damn... She's so sexy, but that's just carnal. That's just you just so used to having sex all the time that you just want some. No, hold out upon that and stick to, stick to um, renewing that intimacy. And I guarantee you by that, if, if, if you make it that far, we've done this challenge before and we couldn't make it that far. And we were honest with our audience and told them that we didn't make it that far. I think the farthest we made it was almost two weeks. Um, and we probably made it about a week. I, um, I don't remember, but it's hard. So right now we're in the same thing. Actually, we're doing it again. So this time, though, it's just too much to process. So one of these rules are going to get broken. No alcohol. I mean, I can't even have a glass of wine for 30 days. No sex. No meat, that means no dairy, no fish, no eggs, no chicken, no no meat, no dairy product, no milk, no eggs, none of that, for 30 days straight, right? And we're supposed to incorporate uh, exercise in the process. We're doing that, and we're encouraging others to do that as well. But the whole this whole talk about this video right here, people must understand that Life is a lengthy period. When you meet somebody and the energy sparks, at that moment, people say all kinds of things. It's just like in the middle of sex when they say all kind of something. Oh, I love you so much and all that. And then when you're done, you're like, why me tell her I say I love her though? I mean, I really love her. I love the pum pum. You know what I say? Like that kind of stuff. So, life is lengthy. So if you're going to be in one of these relationships, everybody is ready to go and motivated, highly motivated at the beginning. Oh, this new love is so fresh. The man I think about when the next time he's going to get to touch her and how oh, she's sexy and when she walk this way and she's going home thinking, yes, I got a good one and him fine and this and that. And him tall and him just handsome and him look strong and they're thinking all kinds of stuff and it's, and it's that energy, right? And it feeds it and it feeds it. That's the beginning. Somewhere down the road courting each other, you hear, um, I want to be with you forever. People never take into consideration what forever means, yeah? Forever means that them titties that used to stand up stiff, they're going to sag, okay? And when she lay down, I'm going to drop under her armpit. And them kind of something there. It means that that bumper that looks so firm and round at the back, it's going to eventually get lumpy and, <laughs> and, and, and look very different from what you saw before. It means that that flat, smooth belly that she has is going to 
puff up and get around at some point, especially if she's giving you children. You know what I'm saying? And stretch marks, tiger stripes are gonna be all over her, around her, so, around her, so, and them kind of something there. For him, it means the same thing. For both of y'all, it means if you're talking about forever now, you know, years down the road, you're talking about gray hair, I gotta start setting. You know, people will grow up in them 20s, much less, 30s, and then 40s. So, gray hair is gonna start to set in. Um, all kinds of other issues that come with aging are gonna start to set in. One might not need glasses now, but down the road now, I'm have to wear some thick bifocals. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Things just change. The, the 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 body don't work like it used to work no more. So I'm used to give a marathon, and now I'm have to just hold on for. Sometimes I don't even want it for days and days and even weeks at a time, and these kind of things, right? People are in this thing thinking, yes. The seven days a week sex is gonna last for the rest of my life. I wanna be with this person forever. Yes, she's gonna always look like that. And yes, he's gonna always look like that and perform like that. If that's your thought at the beginning of a relationship that you think you want to be with forever, just pack it up and leave it alone because it's not going to happen and you're going to be highly disappointed. So the moral to this story is there are things that you can do, but you better hope you're with someone that's ready to go the distance, the journey. You know what I'm saying? This ain't about, this, 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 is, this is not about short distance thing and quick solutions. This is about a long distance thing. This is about life. So, shout out to the people who made up their minds to stay together for life and have made up their minds and have found solutions to work out all kinds of problems. I've done other videos on the channel where I talk about stuff like, I even did a video one time where I said to the women, um, if his stuff stopped working, would you leave? And of course, you have a lot of younger females that were like, I'm sorry, but I couldn't stay in a relationship where there is no sex. I just love sex and I would have to get it. Or me would have him. Me would cheat upon him. That was the younger females. Then you have the older females that were like, look, my man's going through stuff and it's been years that he could barely get it up or don't get it up at all. And I'm not leaving him for nothing, right? Because he got sick and he has diabetes and this and all kind of other stuff. So we've, worked, we've been working on changing his diet. We've been working on him getting his proper medication. We've been to the doctor where he's getting the proper drug he needs to be able to perform somewhat um, normal and all kind of other stuff. And, you know, so you have to have someone that is going to be there for long term. Not someone who come with long term wishes, but short term solutions or short term ideas to fix problems that could be long term. Then that's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? If you have any more to add to this, please add it to it. Leave your comment in the comment section below though. Tell me what you think about this one. And for the video that Brains did on her channel, go check it out. A man no longer attracted to a woman that actually gave him children. <laughs> what says you? Leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.